Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. My name is Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. Now the pattern I'm gonna be walking through tonight is Craig Matthews Sparkle Done. Now this is not a real old pattern. He came up with it in 1983, but in less than 40 years, this thing has become an American classic. It's very similar to the Comparadun. It's got the same type deer hair, upright wing, but instead of a deer hair tail or hackle fiber tails, it's got Zelon, which is a synthetic sparkly type material. Hence the name Sparkle Done. It's not too difficult to tie. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started. So there it is in the vise. I'm tying this on a size 16. It's a 1X long dry fly hook. And I'm gonna be using a cream colored thread, a light yellow, I suppose, in a 70 denier. I'll lay a base, not all the way back, just about the first half and then come back to where I'm gonna tie in the, the post wing. So about right there. Now the first component we tie in is the wing. The really fine deer hair, comparadun hair, if you've got it and it's not gonna take much, guidance is about a hook gap. So cut a fair sized chunk of that off, put it in your stacker. Now I will open up my stacker with the tips going forward. That will minimize having to switch hands with it at least once. So measure your length, about a body length, and we're gonna take that, my thumb is where a body length is, about right there. So I'll bring it up to my tie-in point. I'm gonna do a pinch wrap all the way around the hair and hook and then pull it tight up. Now I haven't let go with my material hand yet and pull another one up right there. Still holding fairly tight with my material hand. It's flaring a little bit on me, that's good. And several more tight wraps going back. It's gonna flare a little bit around you and that's fine. We want a little bit of spinning. So after several wraps there, now I'm gonna lift this up, get my scissors in there and just try to cut that off. And it looks like I only missed one. Well, two. So we'll take care of these little guys right here. And then if we need to, just try to trim this up just a little bit might help you with the taper on there so next up just a few wraps right through here to really lock this hair in now don't worry about a taper just yet we'll worry about that after this next step which is the zelon so zelon is a tri-strand kind of synthetic yarn this is one of the strands in it so i'm going to catch this in kind of up toward the front, but I'm gonna pull it back. So after a couple of medium wraps there, now I can pull this back. Okay. Might have to trim some of these up here on the front. If you can't get them all buried in, that's fine. But before we forget, let's take our thread all the way back to where we want to, our tail to begin. And let's go ahead and trim some of these scragglies up right here. Okay, I think that's fine. Now's the time to try and build up this taper so you have less of a step between that hair and then your body. Now if you can make this a, as smooth as you can make this, it will make wrapping the body bit easier. You won't have to use very much dubbing. So that's not perfect, but I think we can go with that. Now the dubbing on this is just a cream, light yellow. A little too much wax right there. You could use rabbit or a synthetic. I'm going to use synthetic super fine. Just a real thin noodle.
Okay. Now before we put that more dubbing on, we can go ahead and, and prop this up. Push it up with your finger and wiggle it around a little bit. You almost want this as a half moon shape or 180 degrees off the top. So you can kind of do that right now. And then we can pull this back and put a dam up front. We're going to dub it in just a minute. But this dam will help this stand up. Not quite a 90 degrees. You want it canted a little bit forward. So, and take a look from the side, make sure you're okay. I think that's going to look fine right there. We have a few scragglies here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one more wrap of dubbing behind and then several wraps in front of it. Now I'm going to put a little bit more dubbing on front. You wouldn't have to. You could leave that more of a the bare hook shank showing, kind of cat skill style. I think that's how Craig Matthews actually tied his original with a little bit of the, the hook shank up there. But I'm going to, I'm going to dub just a little bit more of it. And now we've got room for our whip finish and not quite done. We'll have a little bit of cleanup and we've got to take care of that tail. So three or four turn right here. You could put a drop of head cement or you could do two whip finishes. Whatever your preference is for finishing the fly. Now a couple options for this tail. Some folks will make it a whole body length or maybe just a hook gap. I, I find when you cut it a whole body length, it's going to jump back and shorten on you. So I like it about like that. In this case, kind of less is more on this one. You just want a small trailing shuck. Now we'll clean up any of these fibers that you have sticking off the bottom. So there you go. The Sparkle Done Craig Matthews pattern. Uh, pretty simple to tie, super effective, mayfly emerging pattern. So that's all folks. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.